Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to say hi, I'm Kate and I enjoy making videos all about luxury and affordable fashion and style. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'd love for you to take a look around, um, like this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe for more. So without further ado, actually one thing, sorry. <laughs> I did just wanna mention, um, the earrings that I have on today are the Ana Luisa collab with LV Lover CC here on YouTube, and I love them. I love her channel so much. Um, she probably has no idea who I am, but when she announced that she was doing a collab with them, I went and snatched them up. So these are the gorgeous um, gold earrings with the pearls in them, and then you can kind of slide them around. And I think she said the pearl part might even slide off. I haven't tried that yet, but um, here you go. That's what they look like. So I've really been enjoying those. Um, so I'll see if I can find the link that she shared for them below um, if you guys are interested as well. But on to the video. So I have a bag to share with you guys that I pretty much have been hunting since the collection was released. And I know right off the bat, it's not gonna be for everybody, but I was obsessed. Um, I really love the look of this part of the collection. Um, really wanted to see this bag in person and my essay couldn't find it for me and I kinda just moved on and given up on it. Um, but then my friend sent it to me because she followed someone on Instagram and that essay had it. So this was shipped to me from Vegas. Um, so. Here she is. This is the Louis Vuitton Alma BB from the Fornicetti collab. So it's the regular Alma BB size, but obviously has been modified and is different because of that collab. Um, and that collab has the um, Fornicetti drawings on it, obviously. Um, and then there's also another part of it that has sort of like round, multicolored faces. It looks weird. I can try and find a picture, or I mean, it doesn't look weird. I can try and find a picture because I'm not, um, come here, babe. Doing a very good job of describing it right now. Um, someone came to join the video. Hey, hey, say hi, Rocky. Yeah. He's wearing his little bow tie today. Oh, oh, this is my baby. He doesn't like to be held when he's not in the mood. Anyway, sorry. Interlude. Back to the video. So, um, they also have this in, I think, the Neo Noe style or the Noe. Definitely a bucket bag style. Um, and maybe the on the go i'd have to look again it's been all sold out online in this uh pattern or this design and they have one also that's sort of like a yellow background with gray faces on it but um this is really the only one out of that collection that appealed to me so i'll show you a little bit of a close-up on it so you can see it's got the windows and then in the windows is the monogram print and then like the Alma, it has the handles, but instead of being the Vachetta or the um, treated leather, it's the canvas. And then like all the Almas, it comes with the LV lock. And the key cloche on this is black. Sorry if you can hear Rocky rumbling around in the background. And then obviously you have the two keys in here. So the bottom is just black leather. It doesn't say Louis Vuitton made in pa France or Louis Vuitton Paris made in wherever, which is where it would say on a traditional Alma. Um, it has the feet that have the Louis Vuitton on them, just like the regular Alma, the four feet. But again, this is black. It's a smooth leather. So it says that it's calf leather, I think, but interestingly, it's almost like maybe they're just talking about this piece because this is like a plastic feeling. Um, so it feels like it would be wipe clean, honestly. It doesn't feel like leather, so I'm not entirely sure what this is made out of. 
And then I think one of the most special parts about this bag is actually the inside. So open her all the way up and you can see, let me take out the, there's just a little dust bag that the lock and key could go in. So inside is monogram lining. So how gorgeous is that? Just like the regular Alma, you have one side pocket and this one says on it, Louis Vuitton Paris made in France for Nassetti because it is the, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that very well, but it is the limited edition collaboration. And then in here is just the two um, receipt. Well, the, the item number is M59265, if you're interested in that. And then it says outside calf leather, inside te interior, textile interior lining. So, and then it does also come with a strap, like all Alma's would, but it's actually a monogram strap. And this has the traditional LV there on the chain or on the clasp. And then it's just the monogram canvas on both sides. Um, so really durable. And then this would clip on here, like a traditional Alma BB, if you have seen that bag or you're familiar with it. So then this is her on her strap. Although, so spoiler alert, kind of, I spent months searching for this bag, finally found it, had it shipped, paid a lot of money for it. I think this retails for around 2,800. Um, I'll have to look and put on the screen exactly what I paid, but I think it's, I know it was 2,800, maybe a little bit above that with, um, I'm not sure what the sticker price is because obviously that's including like taxes and stuff. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep it. So a couple of reasons for that. One, it's super expensive to not be completely in love with it. Like I think the regular Alma retails for maybe like 1500 I know that the Neverfull is 1500 I ha I'll have to check what the regular Alma BB sells for, but it's definitely nowhere. It's under 2000 So that's, you know, in monogram. I'm not sure about um, canvas or epi leather. Um, so that's one thing. I think that this strap is really thin for the bag. It's not going to be comfortable at all. I also kind of bothers me it's not adjustable so I'll do some um shots with it on and show you guys what it looks like but if it doesn't fit well crossbody or on the shoulder you can't change the adjustment so depending on your personal preference um there's that and you know I don't even know how much I would use the strap because I have a regular Alma and I hate the strap on that one too um so I generally just carry her handheld and then my biggest pain point, and you guys tell me how you feel about this, if I'm being like nitpicky or what, it feels like a lot of money for something that feels like it's plastic. Like literally wipe off, don't know if you can hear it or see the shine on it, plastic. And I just think, like I get that it's limited edition. I wish that even like if they had made this, the white part maybe different because maybe you can't do leather with the drawing or the picture, but then have the um, pieces inside be canvas. I don't know. It just feels like someone laminated a picture. And for a $2,800 plus bag, I don't know. I just don't, don't think that I can justify the price and like having that pain point with it um, for a bag that is this expensive, right? Um, so sadly, after all that time, effort, money, I just don't think she's gonna work out for me. So I am gonna try to return her to my essay in Pittsburgh. Um, so if this is a bag that you have also been lusting over and haven't been able to find it, um, you could call the Pittsburgh store. Um, I'm gonna try and return it um, this evening, I think. So I'll go ahead and go outside my usual upload schedule and post this tonight um, so that if you are interested, you could call uh, this evening 
and see if it's still there. I just, I know it's a collector's item, but I don't think, I mean, I love looking at it, right? Like I just think it's gorgeous. I just am really conflicted. And I think if you're gonna spend that much money, you really should be sure about it. Like the first time I opened it out of the box, I was like, what? Why is it laminated? Why, why does it look like that? And I think that, you know, if you don't have that initial like, oh my God, it's gorgeous feeling when you first get a bag, it might just sit, you know, and these bags are too expensive and too special for me to keep hang on to something that I'm not really a hundred percent when someone else might also be looking for it and they might love it. That, that might, they might love the fact that it's, um, you know, sort of that polyurethane feeling because then they can not really worry. I don't know if it would scratch, but definitely wouldn't be a concern in the rain or if it got some water, it's wiped clean. So that might just work out a lot better for someone else. And I just don't want to hold on to something that I'm not a hundred percent sure on. Um, yeah. So that's kind of where I am. Let me know your thoughts. Would that bother you? Um, do you love this collection? I know a lot of people hate it. Um, I personally am not a fan of the other pieces in the collection that don't have this sort of Fornicetti um, windows uh, building look. I'm not a big fan of the other ones. I would love to get my hands on the luggage tag that comes in this. I think that would be so gorgeous and it's small enough that you can move it around and you know, I just, I, even the scarf too, the big square scarf that has this, I just, I don't know, something about it. I really, really am into it. So let me show you some mod shots and then I will let you guys go. Okay. So this is what she looks like with me standing. So it hits right about my hip um, crossbody. You can see that. And I am 5'5 five five for reference. And then see on the shoulder it hangs a good bit lower kind of right at my butt um but I don't think that this bag would really hold that well um on the shoulder I think it's just um I'm trying to kind of move it around a little bit I think the strap maybe is just a little thin and then just holding her by the top handle it is, I mean, it's gorgeous. Like you can't deny how beautiful she is, but it's just not not gonna be for me on this one, unfortunately. And I hope I don't regret it because I doubt I'll ever be able to find it again. But yeah, for all those reasons mentioned before, I just don't think it's for me. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe if you did. Okay, see you guys later, bye.